Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Loving My Home with Tammy. I'm Tammy. I'd like to thank y'all to my home today for coming by and watching my video. I've been out for a few weeks, uh, just been having some stuff going on. We had a death in the family. Um, I've been fighting a headache for over a week now. Um, and don't worry, I've had it checked out. Not this round, uh, but before when I had a headache for a long extended time like that that wouldn't go away, I went and had uh, my doctor look at it and had a neurosurgeon look at it. And according to them, my brain is fine. So anyway, I do suffer from headaches a lot. I usually have a headache every day. So anyway, enough about that. Um, anyway, like I said, we've just had some stuff going on. When we had the uh, funeral, my boys came down and that was a bright side of the um, sad time. But I got to see them. They live in Colorado and I'm in Texas. So that's about a 14 to 16 hour drive. So um, flying is the way to go. I did that in October last year and man, what a great trip. Get there, it took me an hour and a half. <laughs> So an hour and a half compared to the 14 to 16, I'll take that any day. But anyway, we're in my dining room. Um, I'm gonna try to do the dining room and the kitchen. We'll just kind of see how I'm feeling. But we're gonna start in the dining room and I'm wearing my American flag. So we are going to decorate uh, patriotic here in my uh, kitchen dining area. It is, uh, about the first week of June and so I want to be able to leave that up you never know I may leave it up all summer but it just depends on my mood I'm like I've said before I'll change things out on a whim so I wanted to surprise y'all with something that I'm gonna do in my dining room you know how if you've seen my previous videos of my dining room decorate I keep my hutch the same way all the time so I got to thinking about that and I see how so many of the ladies that I watch change up their home and their hutch. I still left it functional, but I changed it up a little bit and or I'm gonna try to change it up a little bit. And we're gonna see how it goes. I took everything off. I've wiped down everything, so I'm not gonna bore you with that today. Um, and I'm gonna give y'all an overview of the uh, how everything looks right now and all of the things that I'm gonna be incorporating into my wonderful patriotic themed uh, dining room. So uh, let's get started on that, okay? All right. Okay, here is my dining room empty. There's my hutch. And I raised up that little sign gather because the cat tree uh, was in the way when I put it down low like I had it. I had the little bench there, but since I got this little cat tree, I moved it down. And as you can see, they have destroyed two of the columns. And I'm gonna uh, rewrap that with some jute. It had carpet like that one, but they tore that all off. So anyway, there's my hutch again. This is my dining room table, and then my buffet. I have already wiped all this down, like I said, and uh, so it's ready to decorate, but I wanted to point out, I've shown it before, but this is my memory wall. This is pictures old and new, years from years ago and to current. And I have a lovely lady that I watched, Michelle, on Uniquely Vintage You. Y'all need to check out her. It's her and her sister, and they have the channel together, and I just love how they decorate their home. Anyway, she had a little area where she had some family photos and tried to do a change and take them down, but anyway, I just wanted to uh, give her a shout out. So, Michelle, here it is. Be sure to uh, give me a thumbs up or a comment and let me know what you think about my memory wall. Anyway, also um, here, I don't know if I've ever pointed this out, but that is a picture of a cow, obviously. That is my cow. He was, he's gone probably now. I got, his mom was actually my um, school project. Let me go and show y'all a picture of her. 
trying to do it without making you sick with the, sometimes when you spin with these cameras, that can make you feel ill. But anyway, I have a picture of her in here. There she is. Her name was Daisy Dulap. Anyway, I got her when I was in FFA in high school. So after I graduated, we turned her out to pasture. She had several babies, but this was our big boy, Sam. His name is Goldmine Sam. They are Simmental heifers and bulls. He's a bull and uh, they were Simmental cattle. Anyway, I just thought it was so cool that when this farmhouse look came out that I got to use my cow and my bull to uh, decorate my home. But anyway, just a little note on that. All right, so y'all, here are the things that I'm gonna be using in my decorating. Again, my white dishes, as y'all know, I have all over my hutch, and I have some red apples, a little red and white gingham. Um, down here, I have some beads and just some little knickknacks. There's some flags and a tray. And then more little knickknacks. Over here, I have some firecrackers that I made out of landscape timbers. So there's those. And then I have that little piece of greenery and my little Crocs. I have four as a set, there's three of them, and then one is right over here, but here's some more of my white dishes and stuff. I'm just gonna revamp them, how I display them on the hutch. And then I have this old lantern that I'm gonna uh, put into it. So anyway, let's get to decorating this space and see what y'all think. So y'all be sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I would love to hear your input. If you don't, if you have any ideas of how I should have done something, I would love to hear that. Um, it's always great to get ideas from viewers because I am no expert in decorating. I just love decorating my home. And that's why I love watching all the channels that I do because I get so many cool ideas from all these women who love to decorate their home. So anyway, I would love for y'all to do that. Again, give me a thumbs up. If you love what you're seeing, get, uh, subscribe to my channel. And I would love, love that. I'm still trying to get to a thousand subscribers where I have a $50 Amazon card waiting for y'all. So anyway, I'm at 421 and I'm a little ways away. So I need y'all's help. Anyway, let's get to decorating. Enough talking. Okay, first we're gonna do my little buffet here. Um, the last time I had this little thing, I was all gung-ho into getting crystal for it. Once I had all the crystal, thank goodness I didn't spend a lot of money. I don't like it. <laughs> you can't see it in there good. I don't know if I painted it, but I really didn't wanna paint it because it matches the buffet so nicely. So anyway, I just decided to do everyday decorations. So I have three little pieces I'm gonna put in here. So let me grab those. Okay, and I've got all the stuff I'm gonna use over here. In the middle shelf, I have this little clock. This used to be a crystal clock, but I painted it white and I actually like it better. So it shows up better and uh, so I'm just gonna sit that there in the center and I'm just uh, center shelf, center in the middle, right in the middle. So it'll come right in between that middle glass. On the bottom shelf, I have kind of a thing going on with the United States being our home. So I have these two little houses and I don't remember where I got these, but anyway, I'm just gonna put them on this bottom shelf. And not only is the United States my home, but I live in the best and greatest state ever, Texas. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of y'all out there that'll argue with that. But anyway, in my case, it is Texas. But a little thing that y'all probably didn't know is I was actually born in Virginia. So 
Anyway, this came with a little plate and it has some of the highlights of Texas on there. So if y'all are from out of state and ever come in, be sure to check some of these places out. So that just sits in there and then the little teacup says Texas on it. So anyway, there's that. So that's all I'm putting in that little cabinet. So let's shut the door. And there's that. I think I need to move the little houses over a little bit. And the clock. There. There's that. So I have a few things for here. Here's where I got my theme of why I wanted to go with home. Is I found this little deal and I got this at Hobby Lobby. I believe last year when they had their 75% off. Then I got this really cute bead garland at the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna kind of drape that there. I have this little riser. Then I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna sit that back here. And here's one of my crops. This is the bigger crop. Or maybe it's just the medium. This might be just the second size. Anyway, I'm just gonna sit it on that riser. And then I have a little burn that I'm just gonna sit down in there. So there we go, so that I, one little piece left. I bought this little vase thrifting a year, last year, I believe. And I'm just gonna sit that here and I'm gonna stick in a little flag. Decorating with the American flag, even if you just put a few stuck in a vase here and there or whatever, is such an easy way to achieve that look without having to go spend a lot of money because I think you can get a little pack of those for like two or three dollars at Hobby Lobby. And like I said, just go and stick them in a plant, stick them, you know, wherever. So there's that. So there's my buffet. So now I'm going to turn y'all around and we're going to work on the hutch. Okay, I have an idea in my head of how I want this to look. So. Like I said, I'm branching out from what I normally do because every video I have of my dining room, y'all see it's the same, same, always the same. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be walking back and forth to my counter right there and back and forth, back and forth. I'm not going to talk during it. I'm just going to place things and then um, we'll see how it looks when I'm through. So we'll see if my idea is good. All right. Okay, I need my Swiffer so I can dust these off. And I think I'm going to put, like before I had four and four, so I think I'm just going to try to do just four up here. Only two people live here, so I don't know why I think I have to have that many dishes out. But anyway, we're going to see how this goes. And then two here lined up. Okay, there's that. I'm just gonna leave this one sitting here because I have more. I'm just gonna think I'm gonna stack the rest that I have. So I'm not standing them up, but I'm gonna stack them. So let me grab those. And they're so heavy. Okay, so I'm gonna see some there. So how many do I have? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll do five on each side. words in them. Those are some I use at Christmas time. But we're not using those right now and I didn't want to have to store them so I just stuck them underneath this pile. Now we've got all the plates here so let's go see what else I can grab over here. All right these are bowls that my husband uses to eat cereal. So I'm going to set them there in the center. And now I'm going to try to display things up here so let's see what I can come up with. I'm actually going to stop and bring everything over to the table. So I'm going to put y'all on hold. All right, I have everything moved over here to the table. That was getting too hard walking around the tripod and everything. So anyway, let's see. I have these items here that I'm going to try to style into my hutch. So let's see what I come up with. How about... We put my little teapot over here. No, up here. Because 
behind that it's you can't see it good so and then i'm going to put since it's a pour in thing i'm going to put this little white gravy boat i'm just going to sit that back behind it i think that looks cute maybe so now these are the, this is the big crock that one was the second one because like i said i had four this is the biggest one this, the next size is over there on the buffet and then i have these two sizes here and i'm just going to sit them there and i think in that large one i have this little greenery that trails and i think i'm just going to plop that down in there Add some greenery. Normally I don't put greenery up here. So now I have this big soup terrine. I think I'm gonna put it here. And it's dirty, so let me pop it off. I'm gonna sit that one there. And then I have a small soup terrine. And I'm just going to sit it there next to that. How's it looking so far? I think I'm happy with it so far. So I have a few more pieces. I have two little creamers. I have this little metal one. I have a little white one. And then I have a little sugar bowl. So let's sit these up here. sugar bowl gets lost let me show y'all see you can't see the sugar bowl so I think I'm gonna use this little white riser I'm gonna walk in front of the camera I think I'm gonna use this little riser to sit under the sugar bowl and let's see how that does I kind of don't want it to show really. So maybe if I turn those around that way, it doesn't show as much. How about that? Yeah, I think that was good. They're turned opposite, which would not be a way I would do that either. All right, so into this little deal, I think I'm gonna add a little American flag. So let's see. Oh. All right, well, I'm going to use a little piece of pepper towel. This is the one I was using to wipe that off. We're going to see if that helps hold that flag into place. There we go. It just wanted to topple right out. I just have to make sure the paper towel don't show. All right, I'm liking that. Now, I have these wooden spoons, and I think I'm going to put them down here in the little gravy boat. I'm turning my camera so y'all can see. A little wooden spoon. I'm gonna sit here in the gravy boat. Okay, so now we have the hutch done, I think. Let's do a quick overview of what we've decorated so far. So here's the hutch. Definitely different. Here's the buffet. There's my helper, Booger. Booger. Hi, Boog. Say hi. Can you say hi? Meow. And there's Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi, Amy. She's gonna come say hi to Boog. Oh, goodness. Sweet kitties. Look at the love. Look at the love. <laughs> 
All right, y'all, looking back like this, I think something needs to go on the top of that hutch. So I'm gonna try something. So let me get to what I think might look good up there. Okay, my idea is I have two baskets. I have this gathering basket. I thrifted this many years ago, I think from Goodwill. And then I have like this, um, I think it's a vegetable basket or um, get another different style of gathering basket, I don't know. I'm probably calling it the wrong thing, but anyway, it's a basket. So let's try sitting those up there and seeing how that looks. Does that help it look better? Let me get back and look with y'all. Yes, I think that looks good. So I give that a thumbs up. All right, now to my table. Okay, to the table, I'm going to add this little tray. This is the same one I used at Easter, but I'm not using the little wire cover. So I'm just gonna sit that in the middle. And then I have some uh, placemats that I'm gonna use. And uh, my mom and I took a girl's trip, if you wanna call it that, to a local town. and. Uh, we went by their Hobby Lobby and we found these Easter rattan placemats. They were 90% off, so we got them for a dollar. So anyway, I grabbed four of those for my table. She grabbed four for her table. And she's using hers right now. I just helped her clean her house and decorate her dining area, dining and uh, kitchen area for her patriotic look. So anyway, and so to that little tray, I am going to add this little gingham or red and white buffalo check, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to drape that over in this little bowl here. And then I have this white bowl. And I think this is what I'm going to put the apples in. So we're going to sit that on top of this red and white check. And I'm going to set this plate. Dust is getting in my nose. It tickles. This plate. And this plate. And then I have a little saucer. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So we're gonna continue to add the items to the little tray. I have these really cute Courier and Ives dishes. They have those cutest pictures on them. These are my mom's. She has an entire set of them. And so I'm gonna try and add those back here. And it's appropriate because they're blue and white. Then I have this lantern. And I've thrifted that a long time ago. And then I have this little house. Hmm. I kind of want those dishes to show, so let's see how I can redo that. Then I have a little bottle and a flag. And then we'll add my apples. Let's see how. Hmm. I need something. I had it. I was thinking that I'd put that there. And I'll put those plates back here. Let's see. I want to 
can't really see the place unless you like walk around, but that's okay. And then this, I have like one of those little battery candles. I don't want to sit in the house. Bake apples, and I've had them forever too. And there's that. So now I just need to put out my little firecrackers. They're gonna go right over there, I think. So let me get those and see how they look. Okay, I placed my little firecrackers over here, and I added that little faux geranium. And I think it turned out really cute. It's very patriotic. And so then let's take a look at the table overview. American is apple pie. Too bad there's not an apple pie there. There's those little cups. In the back of the little house with a candle. the front with the little bottle and the flag. Okay y'all, I just want to thank y'all for coming by. We finished the dining room. I love how it turned out. I love all the little touches of the patriotic theme um, because I do love America. It is one nation under God. And um, it's sad to the state of our country is coming to in some ways. But anyway, we all just need to band together in prayer and um, ask for the Lord to come in and take this country back over. But anyway, thank you again for stopping by. I didn't get to the kitchen, but I will do that in my next video and just show you all those touches. And I'm going to try to get my living room also. And I also did my front porch. And I redid something in my master bedroom that I will share that with you. So anyway, I thank y'all so much for, again, for stopping by. Be sure to share my channel. If you love what you watched, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I wanna wish y'all a very great week, rest of the week. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.